BBC bosses have admitted they haven't ruled anything out on the future funding of the broadcaster, as they admitted the corporation faces an existential question. Appearing in front of a parliamentary committee this afternoon, BBC chairman Richard Sharp said he was willing to take a blank sheet of paper when exploring future funding models. It comes after Culture Secretary Nadine Dorius expressed her desire to scrap the licence fee model earlier this year. Speaking to the House of Lords Digital and Communications Committee alongside BBC Director General Tim Davey, Mr Sharp said, the board HASNT ruled out anything. We're taking a blank sheet of paper. We've been charged with the fact the BBC faces an existential question and the board has to take very seriously that charge, to look at all options without preconceptions. The fact we understand the value of public service broadcasting informs that but it doesn't rule out certain mechanisms, or adjustments we might need to make, or changes. However, he warned the government against scrapping the BBC licence fee for a new funding model without considering the consequences of doing so. The former banker warned that any changes to the current model must be made after considering the full impact. Mr Sharp suggested alternative funding models may have a negative impact on the role of the BBC as a public service broadcaster. Change has to be thought through, he said. Particularly if it's a fundamental change in terms of the financial position, in terms of the strategy, in order to make sure it doesn't have the unintended consequences of diminishing the public service delivery. British households are currently charged £159 to stream live TV via an annual licence fee. The funding model is guaranteed until 2027 with the government indicating it is eager to abolish the funding model thereafter. Confirming the licence fee would be capped at £159 until 20,204 and then rise each year in line with inflation until 2027, Musdorius signalled plans to overhaul BBC's finances. This licence fee announcement will be the last, she tweeted in January. Time now to discuss and debate new ways of funding, supporting and selling great British content.